the magician has something dangerous in store for us, using this large circular contraption. No, it's not an industrial washing machine or an overgrown donut. It's actually a torture device with a potentially lethal twist. You can see that a table bisects the contraption. There's nothing above or below, as the magician is willing to prove. And since he's probably a bit too stout to fit inside that ring of terror, he calls in one of his lovely assistants. Cute outfit. And the ponytail is a nice touch. Let's hope she looks as good when he gets through with her. His team of assistants enters and quickly goes to work. The two male assistants lift the girl onto the table while the two women prepare to secure her inside the ring. Meanwhile, the magician stands by, ready to take all of the credit. Now that the girl is in position, we can see that her head and ponytail protrude from one side of the ring and her feet hang out the other. Whatever he has in mind, this guy's pretty kinky. And he goes for girls with bare feet. This illusion is more telling than I expected. If there are any psychiatrists in the audience, I bet you could have a field day with a masked man. He places the girl in a trance. The lovely lady is at his mercy. And it's too bad for her because he's now holding a very sharp blade made of surgical steel. Maybe she should have read the fine print in her contract before getting into that thing. The blade goes into the device and through the girl just above the knee. Told you he was kinky. But he's not done. A second blade is now inserted straight through her torso. For those of you scoring at home, she's now divided in three sections. But she hasn't lost all motor skills. Her feet are still moving. The magician directs two of his assistants to do more of his dirty work. The device is now rotated a quarter turn, separating the girl's head and feet from her midsection. For a girl who's completely gone to pieces, she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe her ponytail is too tight. Better put her back together before she realizes something is up that shouldn't be. She's lowered back to a more appropriate horizontal position, but the magician will leave it up to her to put her life back together. So how does the magician slice his beautiful assistant in thirds without winding up in the slammer? The secret is ingenious. First of all, the blades are real, and they are dangerously sharp. They're not part of the secret. The secrets lie within the circular contraption. From behind, we can see that it's cleverly constructed to contain two different compartments. When the illusion begins, the girl is loaded into the device, but she's not being placed on the table, like we are led to believe. Here's how it looks from the back. We can see that her legs are being fed into the compartment in the top of the ring. She can even pull herself inside with the help of some handy hand straps. From the front, it appears as though she's lying across the table with her head and feet exposed on either end. But that's just an illusion. Her legs are snug inside the upper half of the circle. But what about the feet coming out of the other side? They look pretty real. That's because they are. Before the illusion began, another assistant was secretly concealed in the bottom half of the ring. It's her feet we see coming out of the side of the device. As the girl on top is being loaded in from one side, the hidden assistant below slips her feet out the other side. It looks uncomfortable, and it is. But these women know that mind-blowing magic comes with a price. In this case, you get two for the price of one. 
Now what about the torso in the center of the device? Here's the next secret. Preloaded into the top of the contraption is a body cast that perfectly matches the girl's fine form. Remember how the magician seemed to be just standing around while everyone else was doing all the work? He was actually doing the important job of blocking the center of the ring from view. From behind, we can see that another assistant was busy taking the body cast out of the top of the circle and placing it in the center. Here's what you'd see without the masked magician standing in the way. Maybe he does have a tough job after all. With the girls and the fake body in place, the magician is ready to insert the sharp blades. There's never any danger to the girls. Here's the secret. From the back, we can see that the center wall of the contraption protects them from harm. All that's left to do now is spin the circle and create the illusion of separating the girl in three. From behind, we see it's all about the cleverly designed device and the flexibly designed girls. A setup like this could make the mind wander to other tricky situations. But enough about that. As for this trick, you now know the secrets.